Oh, hey. How you doing, Duff here? Sorry, I was just uh, hanging out in virtual reality. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, been my, uh, it's become my new favorite place to go. You should try it sometime. Hey, it's almost the end of the weekend. It's after five o'clock on uh, Sunday. And, uh, and nope. No, I didn't have to work this weekend, but I've been uh, hopping as always. So I figured I gotta do some video. I got my new computer here courtesy of JB Computers on Facebook. I'll have a link to his, uh, his Facebook page in the uh, description below. He built this system for me. Okay, so my new computer is a AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core processor. And the video card is a Radeon RX 5700 XT. So I was looking for something that would um, be faster with, uh, with video editing, help me crunch those video files, which takes a long time. So. That's what I'm running. Just got it up this weekend. And uh, like I said, I'll have a link to uh, JB Computers in the description below. His name's Jason, great guy. Really was good to work with, very responsive, very nice. So yeah, highly recommended. Okay, so while I'm getting uh, dressed here, it's a good time to mention that uh, if you like my channel, you should consider liking and subscribing to this video. Get that in there early before you guys fall asleep. So yeah, put on some clothes, came up with a, um, I don't know if it's an interesting idea or not, but it's something that shouldn't consume a lot of time because I can do it right here in my house. I'm gonna take my various PEVs outside and it looks like we have some shit on the lens. I wanna take my various PEVs in the backyard and compare how they feel. You know, now that I have two suspension wheels, um, I'm, I'm thinking about doing, doing it with pretty much everything I have. The um, two suspension wheels, the V11, the S18, uh, my two conventional wheels, the 16X and the MSX, and my uh, two one wheels, the Pint and the one wheel XR. And Elsa's coming. Hi, baby. Come on up. Come on. Good girl. There you go. Let's get that over there. Good girl. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go back there and ride them around, give us some seat of the pants impressions on uh, how each device feels. My backyard is very bumpy. It's one of the things I've been doing this weekend. I probably spent a total of whew, seven to eight hours uh, in the yard between weed whacking and mowing. Yeah, great times. It's a great time to be a homeowner. Good news is, is uh, it's the end of October, so hopefully the grass growth will start to slow down down here in Florida. All right, so got my helmet. We're just gonna be wearing a helmet and uh, wrist guards for this. No high speeds will be occurring. So let's do that and get out there. Can't take too long, so I gotta get back into VR, man. I start getting the shakes when I'm, when I'm dealing with reality. I can't. Oh, one more thing before I forget, get it again early in the video. Next Saturday night, Halloween night, Cindy and I are gonna be live streaming. Gonna be, Cindy is uh, being creative about this and I think it should be kind of funny. So uh, if you have nothing going on Halloween night, you know, COVID-19, you, know, you don't wanna be around a lot of people. You can be completely safe on your Halloween by just tuning into our live stream. It'll be, I don't know, six o'clock, seven o'clock, somewhere in that range next Saturday night. So um, yeah, look for it. And you know the best way to, to be notified of when that live stream occurs is to be a subscriber and turn on notifications by hitting the bell that's over there. Just saying. All right, first up is the one wheel pint. Yes, I still have my pint. No, you haven't seen me ride it very much. All right, let's see how the pint does. This very bumpy terrain. This area used to be cornfields. Whoa, they're not even cornfields, I'm sorry. Tomato fields, actually. And uh, certain areas you can still see the ridges from the uh, rows of tomatoes that used to be here. But bottom line is it's very, very bumpy. Big tire does help absorb some of the bumps, but I 
This is not exactly easy for me on the pint. Of course, I'm a little rusty. I haven't been doing the, my one wheel on Harley at all lately. So, so that feels good. Oh, it's a little wet right there. Simple stop it. I can still simple stop it, right? Okay, here we are with the XR, the eighteen to nineteen hundred dollar one wheel XR. Again, just like the pint, I have not been on this sucker in quite a while. Now my XR has the stock tire, the stock big tire, um, just because the board is a little bit bigger than the pint and the tire has a flatter profile. It feels a little less twitchy. As, as far as uh, handling the terrain, it feels similar. You know, the, the, the tire is, is uh, doing some suspension work for you, but your, your knees are doing the majority of it. It's crazy how many uh, one-wheelers you hear coming over to the EUC side of things. I hear it and see it more and more and more. And there's a good reason for it. A one wheel is fun, but as far as specs go, an EUC absolutely kills it, you know? So I'll never get rid of my one wheels, but I think um, long term, unless Future Motion is planning to do something really radical to switch things up, I'm not sure uh, what the, lifespan of the uh, one wheel is going to be. All right, now we have King Song 16X. I was just thinking, I don't think I'm going to do the MSX as well because I think it's going to be very similar, you know. Non-suspension EUCs are going to feel pretty similar back here. You know, the bigger diameter ones might feel a little better, you know, like if, it's, if I still have my Monster, it might feel a little better back here, but Most non-suspension EUCs feel pretty similar in rough terrain. Definitely feel like I'm able to go faster on this than I am on the one wheels. Not, on, whoa, not only because an EUC is just natively faster, but the larger diameter tire allows you to move at a faster clip. Okay, now things start to get better for me. We are on the V11. You know, those first three devices, they were okay. You know, it's tolerable. But if I was riding that kind of terrain for a long period of time, I would be getting pretty beat up. Whereas on the V11 right now, it feels great. Still feel the bumps, but uh, to a much lesser degree. Feel more confident you know, going across this terrain at a higher speed because the wheel is taking some of the, uh, the scare out of it. Feels good, very good. All right, here is my S18. I left the S18 for last because it's the most um, advanced suspension system out of all the devices that I just wrote. So let's see how it feels in the backyard test. It feels different right away because of the uh, lower pedal position compared to the V11. V11 pedals feel so high. As far as uh, the way it's taking the bumps, I would say it feels um, slightly better than the V11, not a lot, slightly. Like the heavier bumps, I can feel that it's uh, absorbing it a little bit better. Looks like we picked up a hitchhiker. What are you doing, buddy? Come on. 
Come on, jump off. Go ahead. There you go. I wonder who did that. What's up, Cupcake? Make sure the girls have food. Hi. Got to scoop some poop, I see. Yeah, you girls, you girls pooped in the sand today, huh? All right. All right, so I just wanted to um, just kind of do real quick backyard rides on each one of those devices back to back so I could get a real, so I could get a pretty um, sound idea of which felt better in those conditions. Some girls want some grains? Hi, Mr. Squirrel, what you doing? Here, you want some? Here. It's okay, buddy. You don't have to leave, it's okay. We've got a squirrel here that thinks he's one of the chickens. Whenever I put grains out, he likes to come and uh, munch out on them. Cutie cute, what's up? What's up, cutie? Come on, come here, cutie, here. Here, girls. You don't have to leave, it's fine. Nothing's going on. So anyways, I would say as far as um, the way those felt, if I was to rank them, as far as the way that they felt in the backyard, they'd actually kind of followed the, I gotta, Alexa, stop. We have an Amazon Alexa in the coop. Um, go ahead, here, go ahead, there you go. So anyways, yeah, the, the, as far as the way they felt, it almost went with the uh, same order as uh, me riding them. I would say the pint, was uh, probably the bumpiest ride, slightly smaller tire, um, a little squirrelier because of the rounded profile of that tire, a little harder to control. XR felt uh, a notch above, not, not significantly better, but uh, more stable, slightly smoother. I would then go to the 16X. Bigger diameter tire, uh, lets you handle the bumps more confidently, faster, but uh, there definitely is a lot of pounding going on with my knees, uh, with a non-suspension EUC in those conditions. Finally, that brings me to the two suspension wheels, the V11 and the S18. Both felt very, very good. Um, if I were to give one wheel a slight, and I mean slight advantage, it would be the uh, S18. It felt like it absorbed the bumps a little bit better uh, in the back. The uh, negative with the S18 is, <laughs> The noise it makes when when the when the suspension system is working is uh, it's a little it's a little slappy. <laughs> that's, that's the that's the adjective that I would come up for it. It's a slappy feeling uh, with the suspension on the S18, but it definitely does get the job done uh, with a V11 close behind. Um, overall, V11 is still my favorite suspension wheel, but um, if it's if we're just talking suspension, I think the S18 has a small advantage. Uh, speaking of suspension, the property is now dried out, if you can, if you can tell from um, watching the video. That means that I can maybe start entertaining the idea of doing ramp jumps again, albeit with a sturdier and better ramp. Um, but I've never done any ramp jumping with the V11, I only did that with the S18, so eh, maybe we'll try that, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, I'm not sure. So this is just kind of a ragtag video. I just want to get something out here. I didn't want to go uh, two weeks without getting an EUC video out there. So this is what you got. Be sure to tune in for the live stream next Saturday night, Halloween night. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and uh, if you tune in, you'll see why. And if you uh, have any comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts about the video, please leave them in the, in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Until next time, Duff Man out. You don't like if I'm sitting here? All right. It's fine. There you go. What's all the rocks on the chair for? There's 26. There should be 26, but it's too high. Are you going to put letters on them or something? Okay. You should just put up the hammock. It's more comfortable. Oh, this is nice stuff. Yeah. Fresh off my leg. Okay. I hate taro basking. <laughs>